this is us this is where we're staying we are in Istanbul entrance to the hotel and it's called Steigenberger Airport Hotel so we'll go inside and you just see the entrance Interesting kid. Merhaba, hello. 
ไปกินคำบงบุกได้ไหมOne of the really great things I've experienced about Turkey is their is their hunger for nature. You look around, you see trees everywhere, and then the sea, and then the people. So nature and man working together, it is amazing, absolutely amazing. I mean, every street I've seen so far has lots of trees in it. Now, what that gives you is oxygen coming out from the trees and obviously taking up the carbon dioxide that we give so a country that can connect man and nature amazingly steals my heart and that's what i found so far um, i naturally have my reservations things i've experienced that i'm not really happy with but so far what i'm happy with is more than what i'm not happy with Welcome to Istanbul. Now this is out of this world. It's called Aqua Flora. I'll try and find a picture and take a picture of this place, just the name of this place. Then you're going to see in the videos we're going to produce the way this place is like. It's out of this world. Come with me. Let's go and see what this place unravels to both of us. Amazing. Now we are just right by the seaside. So you're going to see this sea that this fish supposedly came out from. And in here is this amazing mall look at the number of people trying to get inside so much going on here it's beyond imagination we got most of the popular brands in the uk not face max and spencers oh. So, 
is a popular shop mall. That's the name of the mall, Aqua Floya. Aqua Floya. Big names that we know of in the UK are all here. This is not face. Not face. Popular brands. Okay, so this is us at the beach. Lots of restaurants, lots of places to eat. Lots of people just walking around and relaxing and having fun. This is us in Istanbul, right by the seaside. Amazing views, amazing environment. It's really amazing what countries can do with nature. And this is one of the things I'm seeing here. Nature is at its best. A lot going on, children everywhere, people just generally relaxed, enjoying their life. I mean, this is what life should be. Relaxing, enjoying, having fun. That's not what we do most times in the West. We just walk and pay bills, walk and pay bills. But that's not life. There's more to life. Take trips out, go out, experience other parts of the world, learn from them, learn a new skill, <laughs> learn new cultures, new ways of behaving, new foods. The seaside. If you can look down here, you see these huge rocks. I mean, there's no way I could have worn my shoes <laughs> walking on these rocks. So I had to take the shoes off. On my feet now, ready to face it. So it's all about climbing the different rocks. If you look around, you see children doing the same thing. And this journey actually does carry on all the way down, which I'm going to do. And it goes the other way too. It's just an endless journey. You just take it on and move on to see different parts of hello so you just keep walking and walking to wherever this is quite exciting to me it's something i love outdoor lives a lot outdoor lives and this is just, for me, quite homely. Just a DJ and you decide which one to step your feet on. And away you go. Hi guys, so we've been here in Istanbul, Turkey for nearly five days now. We came on a Friday and today is what? Today is um, Tuesday. So we're leaving tomorrow and we thought we should just give you a background information of what we've experienced so far and what we think of the place so far coming from our eyes. Remember this is you traveling with me. So our experience has been mixed. Now why do we think this is important? It's important because we're trying to guide you to know how to go about things when you travel to a different country. You go to a country where the language they speak is not the same as yours, um, their culture is different from yours, um, the way they see life is different from yours, their food is different from yours. So how do you cope in such an environment? And that's one of the things we had to come here to experience so we can share so here in Istanbul, Turkey, we stayed in this amazing hotel, which is where I'm standing and talking to you from. Uh, Stagin Burger is called. It's a German hotel. And the inside is, mm, that's okay. Uh, I'll say, okay. 
um, not because it's not really nice but because I've seen better and I've seen more amazing things in my time but yeah it, it's okay um, and then the outside is absolutely amazing we love it the building is really high and so my features about it um, but coming into the tourism side which is where we are now interacting with the public and interacting with the locals now one experience really comes to mind we went out to eat this was just on the streets um you know i if you're from nigeria like i am we have this thing we call guka and it's where the locals just go and eat without thinking about it you just it's just natural to you and we thought yes let's try this it's different remember the hotel we stayed in is a five-star hotel and the food is amazing but we wanted to try local dishes and so we got there and the interesting thing was um, this menu was handwritten and so we saw the prices they looked normal I mean the hotel was like 50 lira for the basic food and the most expensive we saw on the menu was like 90 lira and now we saw this local hotel or local restaurant it was like 20 lira we were excited yes but it was handwritten that's the, that's the key word handwritten so we ordered the food and the man is really encouraging us eat something else don't eat just that one and we went for it now imagine our shock when the bill came 250 lira for just a one-time sit-down eat meal um if you bring this to pan styling where we're coming from you're looking at at least um 100 lira is is um 20 20 pounds so 200 and something you're looking at about 60 pounds for just basic food in a in a local book or a local restaurant that's even on the roadside that was a huge shock imagine our shock when we looked at this bill i had to call for the the menu again i said can i see the menu by this time remember i said handwritten by this time they had carried another menu which they now had handwritten what the money should be the price should be and the meal we ordered the main meal was now 150 lira what kind of meal costs that kind of money especially in a local local roadside how many locals can afford that kind of food so that was our experience and we had to pay um because obviously we didn't want to create a scene and we just knew we'd been conned we knew outright we'd been conned and there was no other way we could deal with this so we paid for it but you see the big message that came out of that was for us to make sure that every time we went out to eat now we clearly verbally spoke with the person and said how much is this so they tell us how much it is and then we now know what we're paying so if you're going out there to some strange country they can speak english or speak the language you speak um, make sure you know clearly I've actually sent this message out on Facebook as well saying my experience and the other interesting one was this same area with this local uh, local book or local restaurant um, was a place where they had this huge market this huge it's called the Grand Bazaar if you've been to um, Istanbul and where prices of things are really amazing they have gold as well and the prices of gold oh my gosh they are looking at like 5,000 pounds, not lira, 5,000 pounds, 10,000 pounds, ridiculous prices. And when we were trying to get in, um, some of the people were telling us, oh no, the shop will close in 10 minutes. We got there, say, about 4 o'clock. And they said to us, you can really late, it will close in 10 minutes. We walked into the mall, again, I've sent the video out on Facebook, a little clip, you know, you send little clips of your experiences off and um, we walked in and when we started interacting with the traders so we said to them so when are you going to close what time do you close and the man said we close at seven o'clock this is four o'clock and this guy has said to us we will close in 10 minutes he actually said to us as well that this shop would not would not open on monday remember we're there on saturday so we're thinking okay if we, we can't make it on sunday and we'll come on, on monday no 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 the shop will not open on monday so these are the kind of things you're going to experience when you're in a new place so you have to make sure you ask as many people as possible questions wherever you're going just ask in whatever broken english you're going to be able to speak and just try and find out 
who is telling you the truth because there will be so many of them we had an encounter as well and um, this taxi driver was just trying to be cool again the minute we saw him we told him where we were going normally it's just when you're going out again you're in a country where they don't understand the language you speak make sure from your hotel you hold the card of the hotel because you don't have to say much and i've experienced this when i went to china um the hotel i stayed in all i did was i carried as much of their card um i think i actually got one in my pocket right now the card of the hotel and so you hold that with you and luckily at the back they write they give directions on how to get to them so we hold this card all the time and we show it to the taxi man and he now knows where he's going and we told him where we're going and he goes oh it's going to cost you so much it will cost you about 100 and something lira okay we're fine with that we're ready to go he goes oh remember today is saturday and everybody's out and the traffic is going to be crazy we're there about six o'clock so i said what time will the will the traffic die down about 10 o'clock 11 o'clock in the night who wants to be out in that neighborhood by that time of the day so we go for it so we're out now we're going yes the traffic was bad so he's taking like really short course because obviously this is his country he lives here and in the end by the time we got to the hotel 200 and something lira again he was like oh yeah but i really did try and take the shortcuts so i'm thinking so if he was in the traffic how much would we have paid over 500 liras maybe but you know while we may immediately feel oh my gosh what is this it is part of the things that come with traveling you you when you travel you open yourself to have a new experience and especially with the restaurants that really did what they did because much later now we've gone out to other places we've been to another mall where they had a food court and we now saw all kinds of food that we used to food that we get in england you know things like mcdonald's and um, uh, kfc and Burger king and a whole bucket meal of kfc was 30 30 liras 30 and we could both of us could eat with that and i'm thinking 30 liras for this huge meal and this man had taken 250 liras from us for some ridiculous meal that didn't make any difference was just potatoes some um, um uh, they call it shish kebab and um what else a bit of rice that was tasteless and just a bit of salad and that cost 150 liras not to talk about the extras that he asked us to eat and he even had a cheek to take service charge on that else we've been um no one has charged your service charge but this one on top of the fact that he conduct conned us out of one meal costing 150 liras he had to add 20 liras on top of that for service charge so that's the kind of thing you're going to experience and since then we've gone to other places to eat and the prices have all been under 30 liras and in the hotel here like i said earlier the highest meal is about 90 liras and we'd be eating fish and all kinds of things for about 60 liras so what was that why did he have to do that that's the kind of thing you're going to experience when you travel to a different place you're going to have people whose clear intentions is to give a bad name to the country and if i hadn't tried other places and this was all i had to deal with i would go back home and tell everybody be careful when you go to talk you're going to meet all kinds of frosters they're going to do this and do that to you but now i have mixed feelings and i am saying to you when you go out there to various countries just be careful the people you deal with make sure you ask a lot of questions make sure you are you are very clear what you're dealing with and that has been our experience okay so this particular video you're going to be hearing a lot of noise in the background is the plane going up and down different parts of the world because we are extremely close to the airport that's another thing that happened to us we chose to be close to the airport because when we did our research on the internet we felt oh yes everywhere is in close proximity remember i said the taxi charged us over 200 liras by the time we decided to go into town in the neighborhood where we wanted to have business we buy things do things the distance was a lot and the traffic was really bad so 
if you know where you want to be, it would depend on the kind of holiday you're looking for. Do you want to just relax and sleep and do nothing? Like this hotel where we're staying, they got swimming pool, they got gym, they got sauna, they got all the things that keep you relaxed. Food, restaurant, you name it. If that's all you want to have on a holiday, a place like this is fantastic. It's a perfect place for you. But if you are a bit like me, who is not always just prepared to rest, I always want to go into the country, I want to go into the city, I want to see what's going on, I want to know where what is sold, and you want to be near town, staying in a hotel like this is near just the airport, you'll be undoing yourself because by the time you travel into town and back, you would have spent all the money you have now, you thought you saved by being near the airport. So again, that's our experience. So these are the things you need to learn from.